Good evening. My name is Kathy Hunt, and I am really excited about the opportunity to run for school board. It's something that I've been thinking about and talking about for several years now, and when I heard that Ms. Burdett was not seeking re-election, I said, this is the time to put your money where your mouth is. So that's what I'm doing. Um, people that know me well would probably not call me an extrovert or a chatterbox, um, but they know that if you get me in front of a classroom or you get me talking about education, I can become very animated. And so my job here in this limited time tonight is to distill all the things that I want to say into a very short time frame, and I hope to do that well. I am running against two very worthy opponents. There's no doubt about that. But I do believe that I offer something different and very much needed that has not been offered a lot for our Board of Education the past many years, and that is the voice of an experienced teacher. Not only just any teacher, but one who taught in the Troop County Schools her entire teaching career. I taught every level of student. I taught every grade in high school. I went through many, many changes over the decades with the Troop County School System. A lot changed, a lot that teachers had to adapt to. I helped with extracurricular activities. I was deeply immersed. Um, I'm still, even though I retired in 2010, I'm still teaching. Point University was good enough to ask me to teach a class or two as an adjunct instructor, and I missed being in the classroom, so I jumped at the opportunity. So I'm still in tune with what's going on out there in classrooms with our young people. Also, my own children, two daughters, went K through 12 in the Troop County Schools and loved it and went on to earn their college degrees and are now embarking on successful careers. And I'm very proud of what the Troop County School System offered to them. I've lived in LaGrange for almost 40 years. I taught 29 years in the Troop County Schools and I loved teaching. So the question might come up, why, if you love teaching, did you retire at 29 years? And the answer <laughs> boils down to this. The first 20, 25 years of my teaching career were full of joy, but I have to say that the last few years, things were getting harder and harder, and I know that they've become even worse for teachers now. And I'm talking about the hoops that teachers are expected to jump through, rather than just have the joy of teaching. Um, we were being told, that we have to have this on our walls, we have to write our objectives on the board, they have to meet the state standards, which is book length information. Uh, you have to absorb these new programs and, and incorporate those into your teaching. It was even getting to the point where we were hearing that if you were an American Lit teacher and you were teaching the realism unit, that you and the other teachers across the county, no matter what high school, were going to all be giving the same tests. And I understand the idea behind that, but that takes away so much freedom from a teacher, so much creativity. And to be honest, I had the opportunity to retire and I took it, but I miss it. Um, now, I'm not advocating a return to the good old days when I started teaching, which was I walked into Troop High School and they said, hi, you're teaching ninth grade English. Here's your book. Here's a list of topics we want you to cover. Go teach. Okay, we need, teachers need a little more guidance than that. But I do believe that we need to be able, we need to try to give our teachers, to take some of the stuff that's on their plates off of their plates. Now I know that a lot comes down from Washington, from Atlanta, and there are certain mandates that the Troop County School System has no power to change. But places where we can change, for instance, some of the unnecessary testing, I think we need to look hard at that and be able to do that. We've got a morale problem among our teachers. I'm still in touch with so many people. I know so many people in the system. And we've got great teachers leaving our system in droves. And so I feel that I, provide, that I, that I provide a voice for teachers who are not afraid to talk to me. I know where they're coming from when they say, I have opposition sometimes to what the, school, the direction the school board is moving, but I'm afraid to say anything. I need my job. Now that fear may or may not be based in reality, but I'm someone that they know they can talk to. Uh, another thing that I have to offer is that I do not work full time. I do not work every day of the week. 
I have time to go into our schools, and I pledge that I will go into all of our schools. Uh, I love talking to teachers. I love talking to kids. I love seeing the great things that are going on out there, and that is something that I will really embrace. Now, I know that at my stage in life, it would be easy to sit back and say, I'm done. Let somebody else worry about it. But for some reason, I just can't do that. I just care a lot. I've been going to school board meetings since I retired. I am passionate about the importance of public education. I want our schools to thrive. I want our teachers to be happy. I want our students to have great opportunities. I want our parents to feel like they feel good about putting their children in our public schools. I am deeply invested in the Troop County school system and I want to keep working for it. If you want to know more about me, I have some brochures. My husband, Ron, over there, also a teacher, he'll be happy to help me pass those out afterward. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.